In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A happy feast to each one of you, especially the children. Today is the feast of the Nativity of Our Lady, the birthday of Our Lady. And I'm so happy to be back with you once again on this day. It's way in Rome for the consistory and other meetings. Let's begin the sacrifice, praying to Mother Mary. Today we celebrate her birthday, so baby Mary as it were, see baby Jesus, uh, asking her intercession for us to be holy. And now we begin asking God's forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us praise God for the glorious gift of Mary to, to us to be the mother of Jesus in saying,
Impart to your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was the dawning of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Can you sit for the reading? A reading from the prophet Micah. Thus says the Lord, You, O Bethlehem, Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has given birth. Then the rest of his brothers shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be their peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Altogether, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. As for me, I trust in your merciful love. Let my heart rejoice in your salvation. Our response, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. Our response, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Kindly stand for the Gospel. Praise the Lord together singing The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man, unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to send her away quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son. You shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, the gospel narrative tells us about the birth of Jesus. We are celebrating today the birth of Mary. Because the birth of Mary is so connected with the birth of Jesus. Mary's whole life is just wrapped around Jesus. The, the mysteries, the glory, her holiness really is wrapped because of Jesus, because she was chosen from all ages by the Heavenly Father to be the mother of his son, the mother who would bring it to the world, the bearer of the Redeemer. She was given the unique privilege, immaculate conception, so she was conceived immaculate, assumption into heaven, she was taken body and soul. Her body could not see corruption, her body could not see sin, and therefore she was redeemed by Jesus even before she was, as she was conceived, even before her birth. The first reading from Micah, if you pay attention, it was said, You, O Bethlehem, Ephrata, you are too little to be counted among the clans. From you shall come forth the one who is to be the ruler of Israel. Here in the prophet Micah is the prediction that the Messiah will be born in Bethlehem. You remember the Herod called the prophets and the scholars to ask them, where is the Messiah to be born? Where is he to? And it is from this passage that there are other passages also, but this was the clear passage which said Bethlehem. And that's why uh, he told her, go to Bethlehem and come and tell me where uh, he is and how he is. Herod wanted to kill Jesus. We see God's providence Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem because of the census to fulfill here again what was prophesied centuries before. But coming back to Our Lady, uh, she uh, was born today and today is one of a, a big, in India, here for us in this Archdiocese and uh, most dioceses in India, we celebrate this feast with great uh, festivity, great rejoicing because we are so fond of Mother Mary, so have so much devotion to her. Most places have a nine-day novena. Today it culminates in the shrine of uh, Velankani, where in India's most uh, visited shrine in South India, in the Diocese of Tanjavu, Tamil Nadu. Uh, again, today is celebrated with great aplomb. And in our own archdiocese, the Basilica of Mount Mary's in Bandra, then Bhate Banda, uh, also in, in another part of the diocese. Mary is known for her humility, obedience, her service. That's what she grew in. From the very beginning, she took an attitude of being obedient to God in everything. Eve was the disobedient one. She was the one who led us into sin, as it were, original sin. And Mary, in contrast, is the obedient one. Be it done to me according to your word. Again, Eve was the proud one, wanted to be as wise as God, 
just to know everything like God. Mary said, the Lord magnifies me. She was a completely dependent on the Lord. He has seen his handmaid and raised her up. She was totally humble. Never uh, imagined that she was the great person, even though really she is the queen of the angels and saints. Eve wanted to serve herself and become really the ruler of the world. Your Mary is the one who continuously served, served the apostles, served those who came to see Jesus, above all, served Jesus. Again, a life of service. We pray to Mary on this, her feast, her birthday, uh, thanking her for what she is. Pray to her with affection. She is our mother, given to us by Jesus. And we say happy birthday to her, promising her that we will pray to her, try to imitate her, and come to her in all our difficulties. Once again, a very happy feast to each one of you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in his divinity, humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness with this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased. Receive this sacrifice. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid. May he, who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin did not diminish but consecrated her integrity, by taking from us now our wicked deeds, make our oblation acceptable to you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise Bless and glorify your name on the nativity of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. Without losing the glory of virginity, she brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quest in our life, praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Let us be with confidence of the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy keep us free from sin, safe from all distress, wait in joyful hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, at your apostles, I leave you peace by peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Suffer the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof. You only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, 
in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. May your church exult, O Lord, for you have renewed her with these sacred mysteries as she rejoices in the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for all the world. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God bless each one of you and a very happy feast to you. Enjoy yourself. Have a nice time, especially the children. God bless. Yeah.